try to take out Colt 412 tonight. Last time these two squared off, Colt 412 picked up a huge victory last year in 2018 before the before Samus and Cesaro's epic three on two handicap match with the Beehead Clan last year at GNW War at Christmas. And it looks like Seamus and Cesaro, on the other hand though, Larry knows Seamus is not involved in this match tonight, it's just Cesaro. And right now though, after that win from Brock Lesnar, oh wait a minute, uh oh. After that disqualification, I think, uh oh, here comes Cole 412, he's not, looks like Cole 412 is coming out. Here comes one half of the NXT Tag Team Champions and his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 258 pounds. He is one half of the NXT Tag Team Champions, Cool 412. Cool 412 on his way to the ring. One half of the NXT Tag Team Champions looks to be fired up and ready to go. And Colt 412, on the other hand, one of the greatest general managers of all time, is making his way to the ring. And folks, next week, Paul Heyman will make his statement in this very ring. But, and folks, if you want to see that statement, go to www.facebook.com and look up Colt Behan, and you'll find out what happens next between Brock Lesnar after that cheating well, win, because we've been six, reminded six, that the business partner, Jenny Wakeman, is not happy after that decision by the referee when Brock Lesnar cheated his way into the Battle Royal. And now Colt 412 wasting no time going to work on Cesaro. One of the members of the bar going to give it his all here tonight. And now elbows the face from Cesaro. And they lock up. The headlock locked in. And 412 now sends him off the ropes. Oh. And an elbow to the face by Cole 412. Cole 412 going to give it his all here tonight. And a jawbreaker. As right now, though, earlier tonight, before we came back on the air, the 86ers announced their newest member, their fifth and final member of the 86ers. Her name is Scarlett. Impact Wrestling Diva, and most of all, made her presence known in the WWE. And we've been reminded that, I'm sadly sorry to say this, but Diamante is not here with us. The Dogcat World Order Champion decided to drop the title belt and, and, went, and decided to come, and decided that when we're being told that she had suffered an injury at the hands and a root beer spear by Colt 412. The root beer spear on Cesaro. Colt 412 looking for the end. He might have it. Boulder 412 center on Cesaro. And Cesaro might be out. Cesaro is in a root. The hook of the leg. Is this the end? Two. No. Cesaro got the shoulder up. Refusing to be shut down. Right now, though, folks, what happened was. Right as I was saying, Diamante left the DAW organization tonight. I mean, she left the organization last year. We don't know for what good reason. And I, mean, I think we're being told that her contract is, has expired here in TAW. And, and God only knows when she'll be back here in TAW. Probably for months, as far as we can tell. And we know that coming up in our Diva contest that the Dog Cat World Order title will be, in, will be decided in an 8 Divas Battle Royal. And there's the uppercut from Cesaro. He caught Colt 412 right in the face with that uppercut. And a stop from Cesaro. And Cesaro trying to do whatever it takes to take out 412 here tonight. 412 nailed the root beer spear and the bullet 412 stunner in the early goings of this fight. And Cesaro kicked out. Well, like he got the shoulder up to say the very least. Covered by Cesaro and Colt 412 kicked out. 412 trying to get it his all here tonight. And Cesaro sent him off the corner. Right up on the face. Flying four up. Cesaro with the counter into a clothesline. Cesaro trying to fight back here, whatever he's got as he's fired up. 
up here. And now a boot to the face on Cole Portwell. It's Cesaro with the uppercut. It's Cesaro being running out of gas. He may be tired out there. Look at the leg. Is this it? No. Cole Portwell kicked out and Cesaro can't believe it. Oh. Cesaro caught for it. Going for the sharpshooter, but 412 had that one well scouted, and Cesaro back to his feet in a clothesline, sending 412 over the top. Cole 412 launched on the outside by Cesaro, over the top rope to the outside. There's a right hand from Cesaro. He's got Cole 412 slamming him face first off the apron. These fans here in Cleveland, Ohio are on their feet witnessing the greatest match of all time. The right hand by 412. Elbow on the leg from Cesaro. Going for a drop kick. The right hand from 412. And a slam on the outside. Oh my god. That was a big slam. Knife bench chop. Referee at six. And Cesaro bringing 412 back to the ring. Wait a minute. That's a, that's a steel chair. He, he can't do that. That would be a disqualification. But 412 caught him. And now that chair's in the ring. And now 412 with those knees into a Russian leg sweep. What a move by 412. Hook in the leg. One, two, three. And Cole 412 defeats Cesaro once again. Cole 412 victorious tonight. Against Cesaro. Look at this. That root beer spear caught Cesaro in the vulnerable tough stunner, taking him down. Right in the middle of that ring. And then the chin lock was applied as Cesaro was trying to give it his all here. And then that uppercut caught Cole 412 right in the face. And then there after that, Cesaro was thinking sharpshooter before 12 on the counter. Let's look at our ring announcer. Here is your winner, Cole 412. Cole 412 victorious tonight against Cesaro. And if I think I knew better, Cesaro earlier, when he took the bullet, which was later, he was the sign of the cross. But uh, he, had a, he, had a, he had a song coming. But the one problem is, if he didn't believe in God, he had a start right there. Because Cole 412 has just picked up the victory tonight. And right now, folks, still to come. Coming up next is a tag team number one contenders match for Sandy's TNW tag team titles. The Code Megas versus Matt Hardy and his mystery partner. We don't know who it is, but we'll find out. Coming up next.